attack on, wonderful woman. We're closing in on the evil Mr. Dehydrator. <coughs> All this dust will wreak havoc on my delicate complexion. <coughs> Dehydrator's been here all right. All the moisture's <coughs> been sucked out of the town. That's Mr. Dehydrator to you. Uh, oh, I didn't know you had X-15 super-saturating soaker hoses. All that water will destroy me. There. Now let's get this town back to order. Kids, let's give Captain Squash and Wonderful Woman 30 seconds to catch their breath while I sell you some stuff. Wish I had an X-15 super saturating soaker hose. Me too. Don't you wish you had an X-15 super saturating soaker hose? Yeah! Now you can, because the X-15 super saturating soaker hose is available in a toy store near you for a limited time only. So don't just sit there. Run, tell your moms! Mom! Mom, Dad, I gotta buy a super saturating soaker hose while supplies last. I know you would take. Whoa, 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 rain it in there. Slow down, young man, before you go and work yourself into a gee golly frenzy. So can I, can I, can I, can I, huh? Well, I guess if it, if, you know, if it means that much to you, why not? Yay! You're the bestest mom and dad on the whole block. Well, aren't you just too sweet now, there? You, I could just sweep a few, don't you know? Hurry, Mom, you gotta drive me to the ball because I want to get there before they get all sorted out. Whoa, whoa, not so fast there yet, hon. First, you gotta get your wallet. Oh, boy, I'm gonna get an X-15 super saturating super hose, yippee! Hey, Kelly, guess what? I'm getting an X-15 super saturating super hose! <laughs> Bobby! Like, I am busy talking to George, okay? <laughs> like, okay, so guess what I'm wearing, George? <laughs> you know that really cool sweater you bought me for my birthday? Wibbly! Daddy! Guess what? I'm gonna buy an X-15 super! Uh-oh. My monies are all gone! But w what about the Christmas money Aunt Ruth gave you? And, and the birthday money from Uncle Ted? Yes, I spent it all already. <laughs> well, on what then now yet? I'd like to know. I spent it. Um, important stuff. Bobby, remember when you got that money? Didn't your mother and I tell you to spend it wisely? Whenever parents start sentences with remember when, you know you're in trouble. You know, hon, if you want this gee golly toy, you'll have to earn the money to buy it. By doing chores. You, you could start by taking out the trash. Taking out the trash? So you want to keep taking me out or what? No! No! I don't want to take out the trash. If you won't buy me an X-15 super saturating sugar hose, then I'm going to my room forever and ever and, and never coming out again. Okie dokie, hon. But if you really want that gee golly soaker, I suggest you find yourself some chores to do. Guess a kid's gotta do what a kid's gotta do. Like, I do not believe it. It is like totally gone! Hi, Kelly. What are you doing? No, duh, Bobby. What does it look like I'm doing? It looks like maybe you're trying to find your purple sweater. But it's not there because I washed it for you in hot water so it would be extra special clean. You. Washed it? Yep. And you only have to pay me 25 cents. Ah! Okay, then 15 cents. Ah! Boy, is she cheap. Uh-oh, I smell a poopy there. Bingo! Oh, another bingo. Looks like a double header. I better change your die dice. Oh, oops, there goes that G Galley phone again. Bobby, do your old Mama Ruski a favor and keep an eye on that twins a sec, eh? Sure, Mom. Hey. I'll do more than just watch the twins for Mom. I'll change their diapers. I bet Mom will pay me at least a quarter for that. Pew! There, diapers changed. Go figure. But a quarter's a quarter. Better, hold on! You want me to die? No, I don't. Yes, you do! Get lost, dweeb! You want me, cuz? Ah! As I oil the wheels on your skateboard,
blackboard for you. Mom! Am I in trouble? What, what in the name of John Hancock did you think you were doing running off quarter cut like that, Mr. Man? I was doing what you and Dad said. I was doing stuff to earn money, Mom, so I could buy my X-15 super saturating soaker hose. Well, now, hon, you can't earn money by doing things nobody asked you to do. You gotta find something that needs doing, something you're good at. You mean I could get paid for doing stuff I'm already good at? Way to go, Bono! All right! Suck it down! Yeah! Here's two kajillion dollars. That was the best puddle stomping I have ever seen. Well, you ate every bit of dessert in the house. Oh, Bobby, that's gee golly terrific. Uh. You know, when I was your age, my best friend Ninky Floodlow and I had our very own lemonade stand, don't you know? Made a pretty penny, too. Hey, me and Jackie could build one and make pretty pennies, too. That's how I'll get my X-15 super saturating silver holes. I'll build a lemonade stand. Because if I build it, they will come. A lemonade stand? Do you think it will really work, Bobby? Trust me, Jackie. If we build it, they will come. Hi, everybody. Here I am. See, Jackie? I told you they would come. Hey, Uncle Ted, we're going to build a lemonade stand to get money to buy an X-15 super saturated soaker hose. Oh, great idea, Bobbo. You'll probably make enough money to buy those X-15 super saturating soaker hoses by high noon. By high noon. The time is high noon. It's high noon, Marshal Bobby. High time for you to get uh, yours. Guess again, you bushwhacking varmints. You're all washed up. <laughs> oh, that's a stain. Oh, next time I'm gonna skip the extra mustard. Well, maybe I'll get extra mayo. Hey, this is some lemonade stand you got going here. drive through window, curbside seating. <laughs> Not bad, very nice. Uncle Ted, Uncle Ted, you wanna help us build it? Oh! That's a good sub. Hey, listen, Babu, I could do something better than that. I got something here that will guarantee that your lemonade stand will make you a fortune. I just came from this great motivational sales seminar, Babu. Boney Dobbins' Secrets to Super Salesmanship. After you finish watching this, you'll know everything there is to know about making money. Trust me, Babu, this guy taught Donnie Trump, Leah Yacocca, and that Ronco guy everything they know about business. I'm Boney Dobbins, the master motivator, and I'm gonna show you how to create an ultra-successful business. And how to get an X-15 super-saturated soaker hose. 10 years ago, I was living in a cardboard box and wearing newspaper shoes. Now I'm so rich that I live in a million-room castle, and I don't even have to wear shoes. I just have people carry me everywhere I wanna go. And that's how I did it. And that's how you can do it. So what's holding you back? Get up and get busy. What's holding us back? Let's get up and get busy. I feel so, so motivated. Water? Water pitchers? Check, check, check. Jugger? Ice cubes? Pennies to make change? Check, check, check. Lemons? Oops. Hey, I have an idea. Wow, Jackie. That's the biggest lemon tree I've ever seen. But the lemons are the wrong color. No, Bobby. This is a plum tree, and it's full of plums. Come on. Can we make lemonade with plums? My mom says when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. When it hands you plums, make plum juice. Oh no, the plums are all dried up, Bobby. They've turned into prunes. Now what do we make? Prune juice. Jackie, what if nobody wants prune juice? Then we'll sell them rocks. Rocks? I don't think we should sell just one thing. We should give people a choice. These are all really special rocks. I found them all myself. Prune juice and rocks at a lemonade stand? 
Is it me, or is there something a little weird here? It's almost dinner time, Bobby. And we haven't had a single customer. This bites. Let's go play. What do you want to play? I don't know. What do you want to play? I smell prune juice. Can we help you, sir? Don't call me sir, I'm Bernie. Bernie Huffnagel from the Sunny Sunshine Rest Home. Give me a large prune juice. Hold the pulp. And would you like to rock with that? No thanks, just the prune juice. Oh. One large prune juice coming up. One large prune juice going down. <laughs> Gotta go. Mr. Huffnagel left two hours ago. I wonder if we'll ever sell any more. My uh, husband was here earlier, and he said he had the best prune juice in town. He was really moved. A, a large bit of straw. We made a lot of money, Bobby, but I didn't sell one rock. I bet they'd sell better near the holiday. Bobby. Bobby, we both have enough money to buy X-15 supersaturating soaker hoses. Boy, we sure make a great team. Wait, there's an extra nickel. I should keep it, since I provided all the prunes to make the juice. No! I should keep it. I got all the cups, and the ice, and the napkins, and the... It's my nickel. No fair! It's my nickel! Let go, Bobby! <laughs> Jackie feels just plain awful about what happened, don't you know? Mom, I don't ever want to see that mean old Jackie again. So can we move to another street, okay? Oh, for the love of Limburger, Bobby. We can't up and move just because you had a tiff with your friend now there. <laughs> but I promise everything will be okay again before you even know it, you know. <laughs> I've had a really bad day. Why does Mom have to make it worse by spitting on me? Are you guys asleep already? Whoa, 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 where are we? Where are we? Am, I, am I late for work? Where, where are my, my socks? Oh, Bobby. Bobby, what are, you, what are you doing out of your bed, huh? I had to get out of bed. I needed to talk to you. You can't hear me from my room unless I yell, so I came here. Oh. <laughs> I don't have anyone to help me run my lemonade stand. And now, I, I'm never gonna be able to buy an X-15 super saturating silver hose. And I really, really want one. And, hey, 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 cheer up there, buddy. How about if your old man here were to help you run the lemonade stand, huh? You mean Grandpa? But he moves so slow. No, I mean me. Not that I'm old, it's just, uh, that's just an expression. You mean it, Dad? You and me running it together? You bet. That's what dads are for. Oh, boy! Thanks, Dad. This is gonna be great! Come on, Bobby. We don't want to keep the customers waiting, huh? The early bird gets the worm. Worm? But I need money! Ooh. What in the world? Hey, that's so fair! What's what, what's going on here? Uh, well, my Jackie said your Bobby didn't want to work with her anymore, so I'm working her stand today. I'm the one with the cups in the water. All Jackie had was a prunes. I had two things. She only had one, so it's my stand. But Bobby, go go back inside, huh? Let me handle this, okay? Wow, Dad's gonna handle it. Sure is nice having your dad fight your battles for you. <laughs> and now, for the main event. The first annual, my dad can win. 
I am the best. I will terminate Jackie's dad. And it is her, Jackie's dad. He thinks he's the king of rock and wrestling. <sighs> Bobby's dad ain't none but a hound dog, yeah. Okay, I want an ice cream match. Now go to your corners and come out wrestling. Come on, shook up, baby. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Four. Five, six, seven. That's it! Now I'm really mad! I guess Bobby got his bad temper from you, huh, Hart? Temper? Tem temper? Why, I oughta. I have. I have. I have. have uh, the mind. I'm this. I'm I wonder this if Dad is gonna use his words Ooh. instead of his fist like he's always telling me to do. This is my son, Stan! Prove it. You prove it isn't. You prove it is. You! 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 Enough! Enough! Can't we handle this like adults? You're right, Howard. Sure we can. Good. It's my kid, Stan! My kids! My kids! I'm never gonna, gonna get my lemonade stand back. And I'll never get my Fox 15 super saturated super hose. Don't worry, Bobo. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> you picked to make me mad. What are you? Oh, really? Just, it's my son. Put it as You got something between your teeth. I don't you, even give a care. It's my, my son. My son. My son. Hey, I could have been King Solomon. <laughs> can I help you? What can I get you, sir? My usual, a large prune juice. Right this way. How about a rock with your prune juice? My daughter found them all herself. No thanks, just the juice. Oh, we don't have any cups. We're plump cupless. They must be another half of the stand. Right this way, sir. We have plenty of cups. Hey, he's our customer. Mom, Dad, can I do something? Not now, Jackie. Mama and Daddy are busy. Why don't you go play? Martha, give this man a large prune juice. Oh, dear me, now, there. Now, the prune juice is in the other half of the stand. All we have would be cups, then, now. Here you Get go, right up with this one. Customer. Customer. Come on. Hey, come back, Martha. Martha, did you see that? How dare they? Dad, we were supposed to run my lemonade stand together, remember? Uh, we will, Bobby, we will. But first, your mother and I have to go reclaim what's rightfully ours. Right on, Howard. <laughs> there you go. Now, that is one large prune juice. <laughs> With ice, please. Ice. No. Martha, give this man some ice. Uh, that'll be five cents, don't you know? It's our nickel! Wrong! It's our nickel! It was our juice! In our gosh forsaken cup! This is yeah. We're never gonna get our super saturated super hoses. I know. It's too loud out here. Let's go inside. Wanna play? Sure, what do you wanna play? Whatever you wanna play. Okay. Sometimes parents can be so immature. <laughs> You know, when I was a boy, I set up three different stands. Did you sell prune juice? Actually, I did at one of them. Well, what did you sell at the others? I sold lemonade at the other one. So you said you had three stands. What did you sell at the last stand? Custard. What happened? <laughs>